New Fossil Condor Condors are New World vultures with broad wings and short tails. The fossil record of condors in South America is scarce, and particularly in Argentina, most of the remains assigned to condors have been debated. A team of researchers described fossil remains of a new species of condor from the early Pliocene Catamarca province, Argentina, that belongs to the still-living genus Vulture. The new species, Vulture messii, is considered to be the only valid fossil species of this iconic genus of birds. The presence of a fossil vulture species recovered from deposits older than 4.8 million years ago coincides with the rise of the Pompeian Hills and the Andes and the beginning of the regional aridification. The existence of incipient mountain chains may also indicate that the center of origin of this genus is linked to the Andes Mountain, which in turn indicates an earlier arrival and diversification of the condors in South America than previously realized. Teenage Tyrannosaurs Loved Hell Chicken Drumsticks Tyrannosaurids were enormous carnivorous dinosaurs whose skull robustness and body proportions changed dramatically as they developed, indicating that they inhabited diverse ecological niches throughout their lives. Although adults ate mega-herbivores, the diet of juvenile tyrannosaurids is unclear. A team of researchers reported a unique juvenile Gorgosaurus specimen that has the articulated hind limbs of two yearling Oviraptorosaurs in its gut. In two independent feeding episodes, the prey were selectively dissected and devoured. This predator-prey connection demonstrates an ontogenetic dietary shift in Tyrannosaurids. Juveniles may have hunted tiny, immature dinosaurs until they reached a size where they needed more energy and switched to eating mega-herbivores. Tyrannosaurids fulfilled both mesopredator and apex predator roles throughout their lives, which may have been critical to their evolutionary success. Another Killer Land Croc from Valley of the Crocs Baurusukidae is a group of Notosuchian crocodiliforms, ubiquitous to South American Upper Cretaceous deposits. They are distinguished by having dog-like skulls, reduced tooth rows, and enormous canine-like fangs. A team of Brazilian paleontologists described a new species of a previously known genus of these non-crocodilian crocs from the Adamantina Formation of Southeast Brazil. The new critter is composed of a right portion of the skull, cranial roof elements, fragments of the secondary palate and the lower jaw, as well as six isolated teeth. They decided to name the new species Aphaurosuchus kaiju. When they inserted the new critter into the phylogenetic framework of their chosen software, they found the new species to belong to the same family as the previously named species, Baurusukene. No shock there. But adding in the new croc, as well as a few others, rearranged some other crocs. They found that Ogresuchus and Razanandragob were non-Baurusukid Baurusukians. This means that the inclusion of these two crocs in an otherwise well-established Baurusukia clade suggests that these animals had a much broader spatial and temporal distribution than initially thought. Cretaceous Blind Snake Fills in Major Snake Gap Blind snakes are minute, cryptic snakes that diverged at the base of the evolutionary radiation of modern snakes. They have a scant fossil record, which dates back to the Upper Paleocene to Lower Eocene about 56 million years ago. This late appearance conflicts with molecular evidence, which suggests a much older origin for the group all the way back to the Mesozoic, around 160 to 125 million years ago. In December of 2023, a team of researchers described a new typhlopoid blind snake from the late Cretaceous of Brazil as Boepeba tyasuensis. This new critter extends the Scolocophidian fossil record into the Mesozoic and reduces the fossil gap predicted by molecular data. The new species is estimated to have been over one meter long, much larger than typical modern Scolocophidians, which are usually smaller than 30 centimeters. 
This finding sheds light on the early evolution of blind snakes, supports the hypothesis of a Gondwanan origin for the Typhlopoidia, and indicates that early Scolocophidians had large body size, only later undergoing miniaturization. Megafinned Humpbacked Mosasaur one of the more interesting discoveries published in the month of December was a largely complete skeleton of a mosasaurine mosasaur from the Wakayama Prefecture of southwestern Japan in the Hasegawa Muddy Sandstone member of the Toyajo Formation, making it about 72 million years old. The new critter is represented by many skeletal elements, including the skull, a complete neck and back vertebral series with more than 40 vertebrae, paired ribs, right and left front flippers, and the left hind flipper. The team of researchers named the new creature Megaterygius wakayamaensis, with the genus name meaning big wing and the species name referring to where it was found. The two sets of large wing-shaped flippers were likely selected for fast maneuvering, as seen in the humpback whale. The presence of a dorsal fin is suggested by the sweeping arrangement of the neural spines along the dorsal vertebrae, well posterior to the presumed center of gravity. The very first humpbacked mosasaur and the very first to actually have some form of direct evidence of the possible presence of a dorsal fin. Mantaworm of Nevada Lobopodians are an iconic and diverse group of animals from the Cambrian, which, alongside radiodonts, present an important window into the evolution of arthropods and the development of Paleozoic ecosystems. Of these, a rare few species outside of radiodonta possess lateral swimming flaps. The recent discovery of Utonax provided much needed insight into the evolution of swimming flaps, suggesting that the ventrolateral flaps of Carig Michaela evolved independently from other flap bearing lobopodians and radiodons. Paleoartist and paleontologist Christian McCall, better known online as Prehistorica, described a new pelagic lobopodian species as Mobula vermis adustus. The first lobopodian to be reported from the Cambrian age, Pioch Shale of Nevada. Mobula vermis was large and possessed more ventrolateral flap pairs than any other known lobopodian or radiodont. It was found to be a close relative of both Carrick McKella and Utonax, allowing the establishment of the new lobopodian family Carrick McKella Day. Giant Early German Snakes Next up, we have a team of researchers who described two exceptionally preserved fossil snakes from the Eocene Konsovat Lagerstatte of Geiseltal, located in the state of Saxony-Anhalt, Germany. They found these snakes to be boas that were so closely related to the already known genus Eoconstrictor uh, that they were confident in describing them as a new species, Eoconstrictor barnsi. Phylogenetic analysis of snakes consistently supported a close affinity of Eoconstrictor barnsi to fisheri and spinifer. The team's preferred phylogenetic hypothesis posits that the three species of Eoconstrictor are in a clade that is sister to the Neotropical Boidae, a result consistent with previous studies. The genus Eoconstrictor could therefore provide an important calibration point for molecular clock studies of boids and snakes in general. Another Chinese unicorn added to the list. The elasmotheres were well diversified and widespread rhinos throughout the Neogene in Eurasia and East Africa. A brand new one was published this December from the Middle Miocene Shangenbao formation of Tongqin, Ningxia, China. The publication team named the new beast Tongxinotherium laterinum. A phylogenetic analysis revealed that it is more derived than the early elasmotheres and more primitive than Iranotherium and Ningxiatherium, bridging a morphological and stratigraphical gap between them. The discovery of new material improves the morphological characteristics of the early elasmotheres' horns and increases the diversity of the middle Miocene elasmotheres. And that is the last chunk of Paleo Rewind 2023. Please come back here tomorrow to see the final composited Paleo Rewind 2023 project on January 1st. 
For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, like this video, drop a comment in the comment section below, and hit the bell icon to stay in the know with everything Edge. Thanks for watching.